Hello everyone, here is Dr. Vaseem for TB Tool. Today I will show you how to visualize gene expression using TB Tool. TB Tool allow to visualize gene expression either in graphs or in heat map form. So let's begin how to do it. So first of all, open your TB Tool software go to graphics and then choose heat map illustrator then choose heat map so you will get the window like this the first one is set input list here you can put your genes with your samples and their values so remember here you will you need to put this file in tab delimited format so you can make this file using ms excel the next is you can group your samples using column or row so the next two tabs is for grouping uh, in row and grouping in column so let's begin how to do this here I have some genes with their expression values in tab delimit format the first column shows the gene ID and the remaining columns are the values of expression of these genes so I have eight samples so I have eight columns plus ninth column for gene ID now click start so here you can see we have got a heat map we need to do some changes because this heat map shows the expression simply by the values available so we can change it to log scale you can see here the expression level is changed and now here because we have different samples for each gene so we need to uh, show our expression in rows because our samples are arranged in rows and each sample for just for one gene in each row so choose row scale so you see a change in expression if you choose none there is no defined rule to show the expression it simply shows the expression by choosing the maximum value and the lowest value from all the genes available so, but if you choose a row scale it will only arrange uh, this, these expression values from sample 1 to sample 8 for just for an individual gene not for all the gene so in each row represent each gene so like choosing row scale it will show you the expression of just one row it will not manipulate with other rows more you can change uh, shape here the heat map is in rectangle so you can change it to circular or rounded rectangle or any other form here so many options are available you can choose any form or any shape you like Similarly, you can cluster the genes by using by choosing cluster rows. If you want to cluster genes, your genes are in rows, so it will cluster the row. If you want to cluster your samples that are available in column, you can choose cluster column. It will cluster your columns. Moreover, you can also choose the clustering method. <coughs> Here, the three methods are available. You can choose any one you like. Then it will arrange 
according to that method. Okay. Now, if you want to group your columns and rows, then you need to make a file. For columns, you need to, if you need three columns for column grouping, the first one shows that your treatment, the second one is its control or treated, and third one your sample. So, like this, you can arrange your column for column grouping, and for row grouping, you also need three columns. The first one is the gene ID, group name, and last is the which genes you want to place in which group you can put it there so let's do like putting these okay <coughs> put the row file in row here column file in column and then press start so now here you see an additional line at the border or at the top of the heat map which is the grouping of these genes based on the columns and based on the rows and here how these genes are uh, grouped these are the legends given moreover <coughs> if you want to add uh, your own customized clustering then you can add here the clustering based on uh, rows or the clustering based on your columns then it will give you uh, the clustering of all your genes and your samples according to your clustering method so here I am just using the built-in function for clustering log scale and the arranging based on row scale so method of scales is normalized or 0 to 1. It depends on you which method you want to adopt. So I normally use normalized expression. Similarly, if you want uh, your sample, here you can see it's the names not the legends are in tilted form. If you want to change the angle vertical just change the angle from here row name angle to the degree you want so here i put zero so it changes it to horizontal but because our sample names are long so it, these are merged with each other so i am putting 180 90 then you see it's vertically arranged Similarly, if you want to put labels, this option is available if you put your own customized clustering method and you can put uh, the tree branch labels here or on the column side. You can also change the color of your heat map from these options. Moreover, here at the bottom, the lucky colors just press and you will get the different built-in colors you can choose anyone you like <coughs> similarly you can arrange these legends just by pressing and then drag to the place wherever you want to put up to you you can customize these graphs according to your requirements you can also change the width and the height of your heat map just by increasing this number like here I'm putting 444 500 just then refresh so now you see the graph width and height is changed then you can arrange the legends as you like 
and then press save ikra here it will give you the multiple formats you can save any format you need i'm going to save as a jpg in 300 dpi and give it a path save it will automatically save your file and here you can see saved Here you see it is saved now. Second one is the graphical visualization. Go to other and then gene expression, gene plot. Same like here you need <coughs> a tab delimit formatted file which contain the first column for your gene ID and the remaining columns for your the expression value of your gene so let's do it just drag and drop your tab delimited file and then put the gene ID list here I put so many gene ID list show you first one then press start so it will show you in column this is the column graph of your sample you can arrange or customize it according to your requirement moreover if you want more genes like you want to put three four five or more genes in a single graph then you need to give the IDs of that gene like I'm going to put five genes copy paste now here a little change you need to separate each gene by putting semicolon between these genes and then press start so here see it displays a line graph of all your genes so it's up to you in any form like call depend on your requirement you can draw this graph in column or in line form and then you can save it you can also do some changes in graph width height spacing around the graph put here save graph give you four options you can choose anyone you like so this is all for today about the gene expression visualization using tv tool if you like the video please give a like or comment thank you for watching this is the scene i will see you next time